Tie up the hair to avoid presence in exposure field. Take off clothes to expose the site for radiology. Press the ear against the panel. Lift up the breast. Raise the height of the panel to reach the lower ruga of breast. Simulate pressurizing onto the breast. Attach the lower ruga of breast flat on the panel. Lift up external tissues into exposure field. Press on the shoulder to relax her. Start pressurizing. The technician shall slowly draw out the hand forward while pressing leaving the breast at the state of stretched always. Lift the other breast towards inner angle. The hand on the unaffected side shall grasp the handle. Spread the lower ruga of the external breast. Continue to pressurize until it is complete. Please note that the shoulder can't be present in exposure field. Start exposure. Rotate the machine head. Put her hand on the handle. Lift up the breast and put it on the panel, making the external edge of pectoralis major muscle visible. Lift up her armpit and put it on the upper corner to make it parallel to the panel. Lift the breast upward and inward. Press it on the panel and start pressurizing. When the pressure panel is beyond the opposite breast, we need to push our body forward. Leave a rotary angle to make her breast into the exposure field completely. Keep the breast supported until pressurizing is completely finished. Pull the wall tissues of the breast downwards to spread the lower ruga of breast. Start exposure. Let's go through MLO radiology standard. Firstly, position the bilateral breasts is in the shape of rhombus. Pectoralis major muscle extends to the back line of papilla, i.e. a vertical line from papilla to pectoralis major muscle. The fat of the gland shall be clear. The gland tissue shall be stretched, properly separated. The line of skin shall be smooth and complete. Papilla shall be on the tangent line. MLO separation on the left side is not as good as that on the right side. There is a feeling of dropping, which is not convenient for disease diagnosis at diagnosis area. Here is overlap of glands. Here is the CC radiology standard. The bilateral breasts shall be symmetric in the shape of sphere. The length of the back line of papilla shall not be less than 80% of that of MLO. The internal and external glands shall be shown on the film simultaneously. For sure, the internal glands can't be missed because the internal glands are the part most likely to be missed on MLO. Bilateral glands shall be separated properly and the fat behind the gland shall be clear. Papilla shall be on tangent line. Line of skin shall be smooth and clear. Without ruga on the whole breast. For example, in CC radiology on the left side, there is ruga on the external part, which is not standard. When we need to have a clearer look at the interested area, we can add an amplifying support and digital pressure panel 
to have a more precise radiology of the interested area. The posture is the same as CC and MLO. Put the interested area on the centre of digital pressure area and pressurise to confirm that the centre of interested area is on the centre of digital panel. Start exposure. This is the special pressure panel for 2D puncturing location. When puncture is required, we need to put breast on the panel. Lift up the panel to reach the lower ruga of breast. Pressurise and confirm there is no ruga. Start exposure. Let's find out X coordinate and Y coordinate according to the first film of the patient. This locating point is the target spot for puncture. This is the ordinary pressure panel supporting amplifying support. Size of the pressure panel is 18 times 24 centimeters. It is applicable to radiology of limited region and micromastia. This is high side pressure panel with size of 24 times 30 centimeters. It can avoid overflow of plumpish breast wall tissues from top of the breast. This is the special pressure panel for radiology of armpits and armpit tail. Good communication between technician and patient is required for mammography. The patient's cooperation will help a good x-ray film. In addition, breast technician is different from ordinary photographer. Long hair is not allowed for breast technicians. In cold winters, you have to raise the temperature of your hands. We also need to notice length of our fingernails. In addition, you are not allowed to wear wristband, bracelet or ring, which will cause discomfort to patients. Mammography is a difficult point for us. We need to better learn dissection of breast and movement of movable tissues and immobile tissues and to reduce dead zone of mammography as much as possible so that we can take a more complete film. We need to notice patient's expression all the time during pressurising and shall strive to include all the breast tissues so that we can take a complete film as the good basis for diagnosis.